Hey guys, this is a quick video on how to install Revit on a Mac. This is a, an M1 or M2 Mac. For Intel-based Macs, you could uh, do something like Bootcamp where your laptop actually boots into Windows. This is um, virtualizing Windows 11 ARM into your Mac. Uh, there are ways to do this, um, uh, like a paid release of Parallels or VMware Fusion. Uh, these are paid products uh, that could do the same thing. This is a, a, a a free way of basically emulating Windows 11 on, on your Mac. So basically all you need to do is go to um, and, and uh, go to get UTM and download it. I'll leave links for all the, all the, all the stuff that I'm doing in the video. So you'll have a link for this and uh, also the ISO file that we'll download later on. So let's go ahead and download this. So it's a very small file once it's downloaded. Just launch the uh, installation file and drag it into applications. In my case, it's already there, so I could just ignore it. So once you have that installed, you could just launch it. And once you have it up and running, uh, all we need to do is basically tell it where the, um, where the ISO file is. I left a link for the ISO file. This is for Windows 11 ARM. So let's go ahead and uh, just start uh, by creating a new virtual machine and we're going to choose virtualize because uh, the machine is an arm based machine and the image of windows is actually also arm based so we'll do virtualize is faster than emulate so we'll choose windows and it's asking us to pick the uh the iso so you basically pick the file that you downloaded earlier the windows 11 arm iso and everything else is default just click continue uh, here, depending on how much RAM you have on your Mac, uh, you want to allocate uh, the most you can for this. Uh, the more RAM you have, the faster the machine will go. In my case, I have 32 gigs. I'm going to give this uh, 8 gigs of RAM. If it lets me. I'll just put 1,000 there. And go ahead and hit continue. Um, storage. The default is 64. If you're going to be running Revit, I recommend we bump this up to 75 gigs just because uh, as we unpack Revit, it's going to be using some temporary file and you might run out if you have 64 because Windows is part of the 64. Let's go ahead and hit continue. And basically, the defaults are fine. You said save. And you could see that it created it. You could just click on the little play button. This will start. The ISO, you'll see very quickly on the top, you'll see it'll ask us to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. I press the space bar, that makes it boot up from the ISO, that uh, the ISO file that we uh, selected. If you skip that or you wait too long, it'll just get hung up. You just have to restart it again. So now you'll see that it looks like it's, uh, you know, any standard Windows installation. It's just going to ask us for uh, basically the key, the product key, uh, and where to install it. So. We're not going to go through all this, but let me just show you the, the first few screens. In this case, I, it's asking for the key. I don't. You could choose. I don't have the key. If you have one, feel free to enter it now. You could enter it later as well. I am going to choose the Pro release. The reason I do Pro is because it has um, remote desktop. Uh, so if you wanted to, re instead of using uh, this interface, you could remote desktop into the actual virtual machine. So I'll use Pro. It works fine on home too. Hit next and accept any licensing agreement. And as you can see, the 75 gigs that we chose before, it's there. So you just hit next on that as well. Now at this point, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna to have to decompress and install all the, basically unpack all the Windows 11 and install it. I've already done this part. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm just gonna stop it. You would have to continue on. It's gonna ask you to create a, a Windows user. So it will ask you to create a user, uh, set up a password and then reboot. It probably 10, 15 minutes. Okay, great. So in my case, I just stopped it. I have another version that I already uh, have completed a little while ago. So let's start this one up. As this comes up, uh, you might see some, uh, these look like errors. They're actually just letting us know that I can't find some, some uh, drives that I had uh, attached earlier, but uh, that doesn't really uh, affect us. 
Okay, so here's Windows uh, that already booted up. Let me log in. So if you got this far, basically uh, you already have Windows installed. You could go ahead and uh, install the uh, any of the other software that you need to run. In my case, I just installed Revit 2023. Uh, the easiest way to get the software installed is just to install the Autodesk desktop app. You could um, search for it using uh, Microsoft Edge. And once you have that and you log into your Autodesk account, then you can download any of your software. In my case, I did, uh, like I said, I did Revit. So let me help go ahead and uh, start it up. The machine's still booting, so you could see that it's still spinning a little bit. Let's just give it a few seconds for it to finish that up. Okay, so Revit is kicking in. One other thing to, to note is that uh, the performance is not gonna be the same as running it on, you know, on a PC or uh, running it on the real, you know, real hardware that we're supposed to uh, be running on. It's just running virtualized. So it's gonna be a little bit slower, it still works. So this is good if you're in a tight spot, if you need to open and uh, review a model or uh, you just need to get going while, you know, while you're getting some new hardware. This will get you through. Um, it's just probably not optimal to run this all the time because the, you know it's going to be slower than. And you know Revit needs a, a good graphics card, and it needs a lot of uh, RAM. And running it virtualized is just not going to be the same. So you can see it's uh, it's up and running. I'm just going to open up one of the sample files. If you give it more RAM, it would also you would also notice that it, it behaves a little bit better. I gave it about eight gigs. Um, this machine has thirty two. I could probably give it a little bit more than that, and it'll behave a little bit nicer. But here it is. It's it's up and running. I'm just gonna open a I don't know one of the views just to see. Yeah, so it's reasonably fast. It's not it's not something you want to use for actual drafting, but it, just to uh, do a quick uh, review or just double check on progress, this is good enough. And anything that's 3D is gonna be a little bit slower, but you know, you can still kind of uh, get around and navigate through the, through the project. All right, so that's basically it. I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, just shoot us an email or just uh, leave a, a comment right on the, uh, on the video and uh, I'll try to respond to you guys. Thank you so much, peace, bye.